A team that we think uh, hasn't quite reached the mark, but there's a lot of different reasons for that, is uh, the Carolina Panthers. And we are uh, a channel and a person, myself, that has been hyping them up all season, uh, all preseason and all this season. Because, listen, I know it's not necessarily 100% pretty right now, but I've got a couple things to say about that. Number one, it doesn't take much for a team to find a spark. So that could be, obviously, Sam Darnold. Um, picking it up right now currently uh, not exactly killing it but I think he's doing good enough just to get by which is not which is also not good enough which is weird um, you got Sam Donald who right now has over 1900 passing yards completing just under 60% of his passes 182 completions out of 306 attempts uh, for uh, seven touchdowns and 11 interceptions also has five rushing touchdowns Wow like I mean I honestly don't know what to say about that little statistic but I will say it doesn't take much especially Especially for the Carolina Panthers. Now, I don't know uh, if this is still the season that they can salvage. I mean, they're they're only four and five, uh, and you know, in the NFC South right now, uh, they are, I believe, number three. Which I, I still think there's some there's some good things to come about this. I think that the, the Panthers are still very much in this. Um, uh, well, actually, they're, they're they're fourth, but it doesn't matter. They're only a game behind the Falcons, so this is not this is not the end of the world. They could salvage this season, um, or they could uh, continue to uh, you know just ride with Sam Donald at quarterback and just see what happens. Because crazier things have happened. We saw what happened with the Vikings in 2017 when uh, Case Keenum came in and. Um, they went on that run. So I don't know. Anything could happen. That's the NFL any given Sunday. We know that. We have preached it from the beginning. But I will say that uh, as th quarterback aside, the rest of this team is ready right now. Absolutely. Now, and I'm not even including Christian McCaffrey into this because Chuba Hubbard has absolutely come out and balled out. I've absolutely loved what I've seen. Uh, uh, right now, he's almost 400 rushing yards. He's got a couple of touchdowns on the season. Um, you know, even Amir Abdul is looking back there, good back there. Uh, as, a, as a Vikings fan, I'm, I'm happy he's uh, he's getting it done in Carolina. You guys got a good one. Um, and DJ Moore, obviously, still one of the best and most under underrated wide receivers in the entire NFL. Currently, with 53 catches, 677 yards, and three touchdowns. Uh, you know, Robbie Anderson, 19 catches, 206 yards, and two touchdowns. Now, I think Terrace Marshall uh, is going to honestly come on a little bit stronger later in this season. Also, Ian Thomas, I've really liked Ian Thomas and Tommy Trumbull. I've liked what I've seen from both of them. So, uh, but at the end of the day, uh, I, I think there's just this. This team is just too stacked. That's just the offense. The defense, on the other hand, you've got two quality rushers in Hassan Reddick, who has eight and a half sacks this year, and Brian Burns, who has five and a half sacks. You've got a very respectable defensive tackle in Derek Brown. Uh, and, and quite frankly, I think the Pan the Panthers, excuse me, are um, not only ready right now in terms of like all around team talent, but I think they're one of the more talented teams in the NFL. Just from a roster perspective, their their entire defense is just stacked. Um, you know, I've liked what I've seen from Daquan Jones as well, and Bravion Roy and um, Davion Nixon, uh, who uh, despite him being on injured reserve now, um, I, I think you know. I don't think it's necessarily a, a punt season and, uh, you know, just like a throw. I don't think it's time to throw in the towel yet, um, but I, I could foresee them um, just kind of playing the rest of this out and then going after a quarterback and then just rolling teams next year. I mean, their defense already showed it against the Vikings, against a lot of other quality teams. This is a quality defense. This is, I, I think, next year, if you, you know, you get the confidence in the quarterback and the, you know, in the, the offensive side of the football going, man. I think this is a top 10 defense. I, I really do. Um, and I don't really see a whole lot of weaknesses. Uh, but by the way, Yetta Gross Meadows finally getting his, uh, getting a sack this year. I was, I was so happy to see that. Oh, I love him. Love him, love him, love him. Wish the Vikings would have got him. But, you know, at the end of the day, um, this, uh, this entire team, I think, is ready. I think this is the, the Sam Darnold experiment. We'll be the first. We will be the first to admit when we're wrong. And we were wrong about the Sam Darnold experiment thus far. Uh, hasn't quite worked out the way we thought it would. But there's still time. There's still time. Uh, I, I think some some things could happen here that um, could start to turn some heads. We'll have to see here. Um, but, uh, you know, I think when you are... I got like Scott Fitterer, uh, the GM of the Carolina Panthers. I think you have to look at this next offseason as make or break. This is it. Because you have got a plethora of talent. I think... That uh, defensively, I don't think they need to really spend that much uh, on any of their capital uh, in terms of draft capital. I think you need to go after a quarterback, uh, whether that's uh, trading for a quality one, which I don't know at this point if that's going to be worth it. Um, but I, I think there's still some guys that maybe they could go after. Well, I don't know yet, but I, I don't think Sam Darnold is it at this point. Again, we were wrong, but listen, the Carolina Panthers are close. I think they're, in fact, a quarterback 
away from being uh, contenders. I know that's uh, that's a big statement. Like quarterback away, that's the most important position in football. Well, the the rest of the their positions are solid, like legit. Like running back, wide receiver, tight end, everything. Uh, defense, I love every uh, other position than this. I just, you know, Sam Darnold hasn't quite worked out. Uh, it's time to call a spade a spade, but I do think there's still some hope in Carolina. There's a lot of talent on this roster, and I think there's a lot to go on for next season. But let us know what you guys think. Make sure you guys like and subscribe down below. Leave a like and a comment. It helps people find the show. We greatly appreciate all the support that we've gotten and continue to get. You guys are all truthfully awesome. Uh, we love every single one of you. Check out our website at thesportsbeatpodcast.com or... Uh, and also, sorry, uh, in the description down below, you'll find all of our social media platforms. Give us a follow there. Give us a listen and follow on iTunes. And finally, if you have anything you'd like us to cover, send us an email to sportsbp at yahoo.com or put it in the comment section down below. But let us know what you guys think about the Carolina Panthers being a quarterback away.